Welcome back to What's on Wheels. On this video, we'll be discussing everything from Tesla's electric Cybertruck hitting the roads to Toyota's electrifying Land Cruiser concept. General Motors also has some intriguing strategy changes up its sleeve, and we've got exciting hints about the future of mobility to share. It's a jam-packed episode, so stay tuned for all the juicy details. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and let's explore the exciting automotive landscape together. General Motors has revised its electric vehicle production targets in North America. While the company is pulling back on its goal to build 400,000 EV units by the mid-2024, it remains committed to reaching an annual EV production capacity of 1 million EVs in North America by the end of 2025. This change in strategy was outlined by GM CFO Paul Jacobson during the Q3 2023 earnings presentation. The adjustment in production targets is a response to factors such as slower-than-expected battery and cell production ramp-up, and a more dynamic approach to evaluating EV demand and maximizing profitability. GM had initially aimed to produce 400,000 EVs by the end of 2023, later pushing the timeline to early 2024. But now, they completely changed their plan by promising a production goal of 1 million EVs by the end of 2025. In addition, GM has detailed delays in retooling the GM Lake Orion plant in Michigan for the production of the Chevy Silverado EV and GMC Sierra EV all-electric pickup trucks. These delays will allow GM to retime approximately $1.5 billion of capital spending, implement engineering improvements, and enhance the profitability of EVs before accelerating the production of battery electric trucks. The initial production for these all-electric pickups will take place at the Factory Zero plant in Michigan. GM's shift in strategy reflects the company's flexibility in adapting to changing market conditions and optimizing their EV production efforts. Toyota, long criticized for its slow response to electric vehicles, has made a significant move into the home charging and energy management sector. At the Japan Mobility Show, the automaker revealed plans to offer home charging solutions and expand into energy ecosystem management. Toyota's board member and executive vice president, Yoichi Miyazaki, explained that if they sell battery EVs, charging systems and energy storage solutions are essential for customers. Toyota aims to reduce its labor force through production improvements while venturing into new areas of business. The automaker has yet to provide specific details about its charging systems. This strategy puts Toyota in line with companies like Tesla and General Motors, which offer home energy storage and charging products. Toyota is also preparing to unveil an electric version of its iconic Land Cruiser, as foreshadowed by the Land Cruiser SE concept at the 2023 Japan Mobility Show. This forthcoming electric Land Cruiser is expected to be larger than the 2024 model, featuring a three-row SUV design with a more aerodynamic and luxurious appearance, including a sloping roof. What's notably different is its use of a unibody electric vehicle platform, which departs from the traditional body-on-frame truck platform found in the current Land Cruiser. Toyota assures that it will retain the Land Cruiser spirit and off-road capabilities with highly responsive handling and a high-torque electric powertrain. While a specific release date hasn't been disclosed, it may align with Lexus's ambition to become an all-electric brand by 2030, suggesting a potential arrival between 2028 and 2030 for the electric Land Cruiser. In addition to the Land Cruiser SE concept, Toyota has also introduced the EPU, a concept midsize electric pickup truck designed for outdoor activities. Additionally, Toyota is presenting a space mobility prototype designed for traversing rocky extraterrestrial terrains, which will be used in the automaker's future lunar cruiser vehicle. This marks Toyota's entry into the large electric family hauler segment, coming at a time when other automakers are also focusing on this category. Toyota also introduced other concepts on this first day of the Japan Mobility Show, like the two-seater sport car, the FTSE, and the FT3e electric SUV, which has a very familiar design, especially in this gray paint job. 
And finally, after two years of delay, some exciting news about the most anticipated car of these last few years. Tesla has finally announced it will deliver its first Cybertruck pickup trucks on November 30th, potentially ending years of anticipation. While specific technical details are not yet confirmed, it is expected to have a range of up to 500 miles, a 1,500 kilograms payload, and it's expected to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 3 seconds. The truck has a distinctive stainless steel exterior, and the interior features a large central screen. Elon Musk cautioned that production would take at least 18 months to scale and become cost-effective. Initially promised for 2021, the Cybertruck faced delays due to supply chain and scaling issues. While Tesla claims nearly 2 million pre-orders, its price remains undisclosed, and Musk expressed concern about production challenges. This launch may provide insights into the electric pickup market, where Ford and others have shown interest, and it may determine if Tesla can meet customer demand with this iconic vehicle. Tesla's Cybertruck will come with an off-road mode to adjust the suspension for rough terrain, and more rigorous off-road testing is anticipated. The Tesla Cybertruck was spotted testing off-road at Hollister Hills State Vehicular Recreation Area in Northern California. Three prototypes were seen tackling steep uphill climbs, with one appearing to struggle. But we will talk more about its capabilities upon its release. And talking about Tesla, a man named Michael Gonzalez, age 34 from Shelburne, has been sentenced to 48 months in prison and three years of supervised release for his involvement in a fraud scheme. In 2018 and 2019, Gonzalez admitted to taking possession of five Tesla vehicles, valued at over $560,000. He also drove one of the Teslas onto Lake Champlain's frozen surface in February 2019 and set it on fire in an attempt to claim insurance money. Gonzalez submitted false statements to the Vermont Department of Motor Vehicles to obtain titles for the vehicles and illegally sold three of them, earning $231,900. As part of his sentence, he is required to pay restitution to Tesla totaling more than $493,000 and forfeit the money earned from the illegal vehicle sales to the U.S. government. Did you know that the way you treat your electric car has a significant impact on its range? We've talked about how to get the most out of your battery in this video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one.